Tonight, we are hearing firsthand what it is like to be diagnosed, hospitalized, and treated for the coronavirus. A Fox Point woman says there were times she thought she would not make it through the sickness, but she's now on the road to recovery. Tom Durian introduces us to Tina Kreitlow. I couldn't believe it. I, I really thought that I was doing all of the right things. And she was. Things like incessantly washing her hands, sanitizing surfaces at work and home. Tina Kreitlow called herself hypervigilant. At the time, she thought it was to protect not only her young family, but her elderly mother. I wanted to make sure that I, kept, I was keeping her safe. Never did I expect that this would impact me the way that it had. <clears throat> you might hear that cough throughout our interview. It's a lingering effect of COVID-19. Tina's story started out like many others. She thought she had a cold, then maybe the flu. Things really started to take a turn where my fever started to jump up a little bit more, um, more significant shortness of breath on Saturday. <clears throat> that fever was more than 104 degrees. It was time to go to the hospital. Here I am, not really able to walk, not able to talk much and I'm in there managing this on my own. In times of COVID-19, hospital visitor procedures have changed, and Tina was now in this alone. I was just sitting out in the hallway thinking, I'm not sure that I'm going to make it through this. X-rays of her lungs showed troubling results, so they started treating her for pneumonia. But that wasn't it. Another test came back positive for coronavirus. While in her room, in isolation, sobering information on the news. The death toll from this virus was rising but she thinks there's a patient not represented in the widely told story of COVID-19. You're not seeing many of the people in between who sort of experienced what I experienced, which was, you know, I mean, it was a miserable four days on oxygen and fight, spiking fevers. She pleads with those who see this to stay home. At the end of the day, that's what we should all be doing is just staying home. It's the only way we're truly going to get through this quicker. Tina made a point to thank the doctors and nurses here at the hospital. She's currently at home recovering in quarantine, and she has no idea how she got this. Tom Durian, TMJ4 News.